You know, as Christians, we're often encouraged to let our light shine, right? I mean, it's right there in Matthew 5, 16, it says, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. But hold on a second, just a chapter later in Matthew 6, Jesus tells us to keep our acts of righteousness hidden from others, to give in secret, pray in secret, and fast in secret. Sounds a bit contradictory, doesn't it? So let's try to answer this. In Matthew 6, Jesus isn't just talking about showing off or seeking attention for our good deeds. Instead, he's trying to get us to consider our motivation and our focus when we give, pray, and fast. See, back in Matthew 5, when Jesus tells us to let our light shine, he's encouraging us to live in a way that reflects his love and goodness and brings glory to God rather than attention to ourselves. So our ultimate motivation behind good deeds should always be to point others to God. It's about glorifying our Father in heaven, not seeking our own glory. This helps us make sense of what Jesus is communicating in chapter 6 when he preaches about giving, praying, and fasting. Jesus is reminding us to check our hearts. Are we doing these things to be seen by others, or are we doing them out of genuine love and obedience to God? So what does this balance look like in practical terms? It means living authentically and humbly. It means serving others without seeking recognition. It means letting our actions speak louder than our words and allowing God's love to shine through us in everything we do. I want you to think about the last time you were in small group or maybe you were about to share a family dinner or in another setting where someone asked you, does, anyone, or does someone wanna pray for us? Did you feel any fear? Maybe even now you're thinking, well, Jesus says that we should only pray in secret. If you have a hard time praying out loud, Jesus might be asking you to check your heart. Are you worried about what others may be thinking of your prayer, or are you praying for the glory of God? If that's the case, there should be nothing to worry about. This is just one example of living out this balance in a practical way. This week, as we continue to process these verses and strive to live them out together as a church, I invite you to spend time in reflection asking yourself, what is my motivation? When I give, when I serve, when I pray, even when I fast, why am I doing it? Who am I doing it for? I believe that when we answer this question and live out our faith with pure intentions, that's when we can truly let our light shine. Hey, thank you for engaging with this episode of Anchored. Are you part of Bethel Church and interested in being a host for this podcast? We know that God speaks to each one of us. We want to faithfully grow the people who contribute and share their insights through this podcast. If you are interested in learning more about this opportunity, please email video at Bethel.ch.